What makes fugitives think they can escape the pursuit of the police? The high stakes chases between the police and criminals always have no conclusion. Join us now to witness the intriguing aspects of today's episode. On July 27, 2023, at 8.48 a.m., I received a notification from Sergeant Wesley Smith of the Crittenden County Sheriff's Office regarding a stolen vehicle in Gilmore. Immediately, I responded to the scene as the nearest unit. Upon arrival, I heard Sergeant Smith report that two suspects were fleeing the area in a black Cadillac CTS. I spotted the suspicious vehicle and initiated pursuit. The vehicle was traveling at speeds exceeding 100 miles per hour, weaving dangerously and narrowly avoiding collisions. I executed the first pit maneuver, causing the vehicle to spin onto the shoulder. However, it regained control and continued to flee. I performed a second TVI maneuver, causing the vehicle to careen into a ditch and become disabled. The two suspects fled the vehicle and attempted to escape into a wooded area. We requested assistance from a drone and K-9 unit, issuing commands for the suspects to surrender. They were apprehended and transferred to the Crittenden County Sheriff's Office. Through seamless coordination among law enforcement agencies in apprehending the suspects, we succeeded in apprehending and bringing them to face the consequences of the law. Speeding is a rampant issue on roads across the United States. That's why we conduct patrols day and night. During a night patrol on a Florida highway, I noticed a vehicle violating traffic laws by speeding. However, as I approached to observe, the vehicle abruptly decelerated in an unusual manner. Despite the slowdown, the driver showed no intention of stopping, moving slowly and even straddling the lane divider.
Recognizing signs of impaired driving, I decided to follow and intervene to prevent this dangerous behavior. Closing in on the suspect's vehicle from behind on the left side, I executed a gentle tap to force them to stop. The vehicle then swerved and veered onto the shoulder. Immediately, I exited my vehicle and approached to inspect. Okay, get out here, lay on the ground. Lay on the ground. On the ground. Get on the ground, on your face. Get on your face. Let's stretch all the way out, put your hands out. The strong scent of alcohol emanating from the driver indicated intoxication. Just move behind your back. Why don't you stop? The arrest was swiftly and safely conducted without any injuries. A speeding vehicle fled as soon as we activated the alarm siren. The driver seemed to lose control as the vehicle crashed into a concrete barrier, creating sparks as it almost flew off the ground. The suspect then collided with a signal post near the railroad tracks. Show your hands! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! I got one male running, white jacket, blue jeans. I got passenger in the car. He's running on the service road toward headquarters. Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! What's up? White jacket, blue jeans. He's running to the oil industries. Do what? I have a in my name. Where? It's in my pocket. The driver abandoned the vehicle while the passengers were immediately apprehended. Once the vehicle was stopped, I attempted to extricate the driver and took him into my vehicle. In my car. Sit down. Yes, sir. Watch it. Just lose your hands. Did that guy have a gun on him? The car's clear. Afterwards, I continued pursuing the remaining man who fled into the woods behind Purpose Industries. I informed my fellow officers about his actions and ensured everyone's safety. He jumped the fence line behind those trees there. Go down to uh, Chico, hang a left. Yeah, hang a left, 
Yes, he went behind that house right there. Do it. You want to ride back to your car? No, I'll be good. I'm going to go back to that building back here. Okay. He went in that neighborhood. He's not running fast. Uh, white jet. White shirt with, uh, like beach color, bleach colored blue jeans. It's a black male. Go ahead and notify the, uh, railroad. The pursuit continued through residential and industrial areas. I provided detailed descriptions of the man, including a white jacket with a logo on the back and blue jeans. The description again is a black male, white jacket with a logo on the back and bleach colored blue jeans. We go ahead and start at 1011. The chase ended with me and my team successfully apprehending the man and ensuring the safety of everyone and the surrounding property. Stay back! Hamilton, come back! A vehicle was reported to be fleeing at high speed after individuals inside the car threw a package of white powder, believed to be contraband, out of the window. The suspect's vehicle was fleeing at an estimated speed of around 130 miles per hour, overtaking multiple other vehicles and swerving recklessly. Two other military patrol vehicles were also participating in the chase. The suspect's vehicle began to slow down to navigate through a spike strip. Seizing the opportunity, the police officer executed a pit maneuver while his teammate's vehicle surrounded the target from different angles. Stay back! Hamilton, come back! The suspect's vehicle careened off the road and got stuck in the grassy area. The police swiftly moved in to apprehend the individuals, successfully concluding the pursuit without any injuries. A small state police officer participated in a pursuit of a violating vehicle. Upon confirming the location of the vehicle, the patrol car of the officer became the primary unit in this pursuit. Despite the presence of many vehicles on the road, the pursued car recklessly fled at speeds exceeding 110 miles per hour. The police then decided to perform a high-speed pit maneuver. The impact rendered both vehicles nearly incapacitated. The suspect abandoned the vehicle and another car from the pursuit team arrived promptly. A foot chase ensued involving the police officer and the suspect. The officer then reported the situation regarding the suspect, who was apprehended at Burger King. I hope this video has provided you with entertaining moments and valuable information. Let's join hands to build a safe and civilized community by obeying traffic laws and supporting law enforcement officers. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to support us in producing more quality and engaging videos. Thank you all.